Right then, more trailer updates. So we've sort of started this video a little bit into it because we're fitting it around when people have got time. So we'll put up the footage of the, the lads at gig ripping all the old stickers off. <laughs> Hidden camera show. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think this is gonna go, Ryan. I don't think this is gonna go. I've, we've not got enough room at this side. I don't think we've got enough room for me to screw it over there and then get it round there. I'll reverse to where that sprinter is, and then I'm further over that way. Then I've got more room to do it. Bigger than you think, this thing. Bloody hell. <laughs> what the f is this? What gear is this in? It's like it wants to do 500 mile an hour when you set off. I still don't think it's going to go, Simon. It is. Don't worry about it. We'll get it in. Start straightening up a bit, right? I can't. <laughs> It went, that's a full lock, that, it went straight oh, up. Yeah. yeah. It went straight up. Attempt number three. Oh. My God, I have no idea what I'm doing here, do I? You load the roof inside. Yeah. Cars. 
If you ask me to shift it now, I don't know what I'm going to do. But half an hour to do that, what a nightmare. So now we've got Simon here, which he's down here somewhere. Where is he? He's here. Simon, Spartan expert cleaning. He's doing uh, some of his community service and uh, cleaning all side. He's polishing it up so you can't see where all old stickers were. We're just coming up with a plan of what we're going to do for this because this looks crap. So I think we're going to end up putting some dye bond on here with some stickers. We're going to take this off and then put some dye bond on that or something like that anyway. But we're going to take all this off because there's a lot of cracks in metal and stuff like that. So. We take that off and just check. It's not really cracked, but it's just you can see where it's been bending and stuff. So we'll get that sorted. Um, <clears throat> the other job, Dean's just had to mess about adjusting all belly lockers so that they weren't scratching each other and they all opened properly because they'd all got bent and stuff like that. And then now the lads are just going to wrap all the bottom. Daniel put a picture of what design we're looking for, but they're going to wrap all the black bit to start because that doesn't change. Then we're going to get all this other stuff sorted. We've got a bit of white to wrap and stickers to go on and stuff like that. But we're just tweaking the design because just changing the size by 50 or 100 millimetres in places has meant we use a lot less final. So the stickers are not as big as we wanted them to be, but it added about a grand on to make it bigger. So yeah, we'll get cracking. Let's see how we go. So, as you can see, we're just in gig now. The tractor unit split from the trailer. This is going to be getting cleaned. They've just started doing some repairs. So the body shop's just fiberglassed and repaired this bit of the step that got a crack in it. A couple of bits of fill have been put in here. And we'll have again, it just rubbed down so that the black wrap will look pretty good. So yeah, then it's needing, it's, the paint's just flat as out. So, Simon's going to get on with uh, getting it a full clean and then we'll, there should be some little bits of paintwork that we might want to do. Obviously mirrors want black in and stuff like that so we'll see but this is probably more of a job than doing the trailer but we'll go have a look at that, see where we are with that and we'll just let them carry on doing what they're doing. Perfect.
So, loads of horrible looking stuff. If we go in here, let's see. We're not quite where we want to be, but junior has got cracked on in here and ragged everything out that he could. A few more bits just to put onto the back of the truck and dispose of. But when we started taking this bunk out, we realised, I don't know if it's a good matter to get an eye of view, but this is actually the old floor from when the wagon were probably like four and a half metre, maybe even nearly five metre twin deck. So this is tied in quite a bit to the side. So we're going to have to have a bit of a faff around to get this. I want it because we really wanted two fold out, fold down beds here. So a bit of faffing about. I'm sure we'll get it sorted at some point. But yeah. A lot of work. This has made it a lot more work than we expected, but like every job we ever do, there's always more work to be done. probably been over a week since we last looked in here and things have progressed negatively in some ways so all the insulation has been taken out because there was a little bit of a damp patch there it turns out just a couple of little holes from some screws that have been put in or whatever so we figured that out Dean's wanting to chop this back even further now because we've kind of changed his minds how the beds are going to be I think rather than the beds folding down they're going to fold up but we need to um, we need to figure that out 100 percent anyway so and yeah, we've got to put a new bit of decking in the floor but we've got some of this proper trailer deck board so the same stuff to match that to go all the way up to there this is just an eater just to dry things out a little bit so yeah it looks terrible in here at the minute no filming's been done so it just appeared like this and uh yeah we're gonna uh, you have to have a lot of vision to see what we're doing here, so we'll keep uh, we'll keep plugging away. We'll get it sorted, but I, I don't think we'll be sleeping in here as soon as we thought we would. But we'll see. If it weren't raining sideways and the trailer shaking all over the place, cause storm Barry or whatever they're calling it, it's happening at the minute, which means everybody's like in house more scared than they were a, that coffee thing that everybody had. Um, so yeah, we're um, we've had all the back. We've tied it all the, the rear tail lift up, had all the stickers put on, the lads at Gig have put that on. I don't think they recorded us doing that either, so this has turned into a bit of a flop. Um, so yeah, that's odd. Looks really good. Dean just got this checker plate to put back on. So that's another job. He's got about a thousand holes to drill and a million rivets to do. So yeah, we're hoping that very soon, we've got a bit of progress here, but we're also hoping that very soon the unit that should have been empty a few months ago is empty very very soon and we could put all the crap that's hiding in this trailer and all the other stash places that we've got in the units and all in the body shop can all go in there and we can actually get cracking on doing the back and this all at the same time get it ready for racing and at least use it at the first round so we'll see
So, as you can see, not sure how much footage we've got of it all going on because it's been an absolute pain getting the space and the time to do this, but I think the outside is complete. We did want to wrap the silver stuff white and all the little bottles and stuff, but it's half hard to go. Really, it wanted the full paint and then the wrap put it on, but we're not doing that either. So, yeah, really happy we are. Gavin, his lads have got it sorted. It's exactly what we wanted. It um, stands out a bit more. Still a couple of little bits of silicone to do, but you can't see them from here, so it doesn't really matter. Lockers to lock, and then we've got to start getting it loaded up, because today's Saturday, probably about half ten, and we're setting off at two o'clock, and there's literally no cars, no equipment or anything in there, so we need to hurry up. As you can see, the blank canvas is almost there. We just need to get the panel on this wall here sorted. This is a bracket for a telly. Scott wanted uh, the telly put in on the wall, so we just had to put a bit of panelling on here. It's going to be sunk in and flush, I believe. A um, bit of wiring to do and stuff like that. But yeah, we pretty much get in there. Drop the ceiling as well. So yeah, hopefully, I don't know whether this will conclude this video or not. I'm hoping it does. But basically, we want to get some interesting stuff in the next internal video. So, see how we get on.